How was your day? Good, and you? Good. It was busy. Tell me more about what you did. I cooked, I uh, cleaned, and I did some uh, learning, and, uh, and I swept. It swept? Not swept. You never really came out and said what needed to be said. It was all subtext. This is a master class in how to do subtext well and how to, and which, which speaks to the directing and the acting because it's like, and also the editing, because it's like the words on the page say one thing, but it takes understanding of storytelling of how, what they were, like, the, like the dialogue is saying one thing, but then the shots and the performance and the editing communicate something else um, through subtext, which excellent. This is a master class in how to do that. Like I really like the, the shot at the end when they're far away looking at each other said everything said everything and i was like you could end it right there and it did and perfect explores the gulf um between cultures really well um you get a real palpable sense of what it's like to be you know a stranger in a strange land um to try to acclimatize yourself to a new culture and how lonely that can be um yeah and then and then how powerful it, it feels when you meet someone from that same background um, as you in this in this strange land, um, and how comforting it can be to speak, you know, your mother tongue, um, and talk about you know, places where you grew up and where you used to live. Um, but the film also, I think, really definitely handles the feeling of jealousy you get from the husband. You know, when he sees his wife talking to you know, the titular guest, um, you know, talking Indian and sharing childhood stories and what places where they grew up. You know, you get a real sense of what it's like to face those enormous. Um, barriers that you know exist in, in cross-cultural relationships um, and I think the film uses some really clever um, cinematic devices to highlight this like you know when that when happening dinner you know you've got one conversation in English sort of overlapping cutting across um, a conversation in, in Indian it kind of highlights those that, that gap um, and also you know the final shot I think is really amazing uh, not only is it just beautifully composed but it also perfectly captures you know, the feelings of both of those main characters and kind of where their relationship is at at that point at the end of the film. Psychology. This shows a couple who live in a more secluded place. Her husband is a scientist researcher. She's a wife and she doesn't do much outside of these housely duties. When they have guests over for dinner, uh, we get someone from her country uh, mixed into the space. And this is the only time we see her flourish. Uh, we see her deep in conversations about life, the beat of the drums, uh, a song. They both sing a song that they uh, cherish and love. Uh, you slowly get to see her pull away from her husband and have this uh, magnetic chemistry towards this guest. Uh, we see this long lasting gaze uh, shots between the two. Uh, the last sequence displays the separation between the couple in this very extreme wide shot, very well done as she walks past him. I think she's seen uh, from other people and she has yet to see what uh, herself and what she's fully capable of. Um, this is, you know, obviously a really subtle and reserved story, and I think you really did it justice. Um, I think you did a really nice job of sort of getting your point across without hammering anybody over the head with it, and I think it all really just worked nicely. Um, in particular, I thought that the dinner scene, when the two, you know, pairs of people were having totally separate conversations in different languages was like absolutely the best part of this. I thought it just worked on all cylinders. Uh, that scene in particular, I thought was absolutely standout. Um, but I mean, the rest of it worked really nicely too. Um, I, I think that uh, you're, you're doing a great job of just kind of leaving your viewers, you know, asking who is the guest here. And um, yeah, it really resonates. <laughs> Um, you know, this isn't an, an experience that I've personally had, but it's one that like that I immediately understand seeing this film. And I really appreciate what you were able to do with it and the way you were able to bring it together. I thought this was a really nice story, um, really showed sort of the everyday lives of these two people. And when they have the guests over, um, it shows like, you know, how you can miss your own traditions 
or the commonality you have with somebody or a group of people. Um, missing your culture. Uh, I think the two that were married didn't seem to have too much in common. And then when the guest came over who seemed to be from her same culture, that they really connected and that commonality sort of sparked, you know, a connection there. So I thought it did a really great job of showing all that. One of my favorite parts of this was toward the end, right at the end where there was a two shot of the husband and wife at a great distance from each other. And then she walks, you know, kind of past him. I thought that was really interesting and metaphorical. Um, showing how much distance, how much awkwardness, how much silence is between the two that are actually physically living in the house. Um, not only is it like not really language barrier because they both can mostly both speak the two languages, but how she was like getting dressed up and he was just in his pajamas, how he's at work all day and she's at home all day. Like they, they just did such a great job of showing how much separation, how much at the very, very end, physical distance was being the t between the two of them. And you could just see how much different she reacted to somebody that was from her own culture. And they could talk about things that she grew up with and, like, were, you know, memories from her own country, things like that. And then he was just kind of always watching and, to me, seemed really jealous of that kind of connection. Um, I really enjoyed it. The area in which they shot and how they were shooting things, the, the angles that they were choosing, the creativity that they put into the camera work, and also into the editing of it too. How it kept the pace flowing was just great. I loved her voice. Whatever song that she was singing in the beginning was really, really beautiful. That was such a nice touch. Um, all of the actors, I thought, did a fantastic job. Everybody was very believable. Everybody had such a great rapport with each other. You could feel the attraction between her and the guest. You definitely could feel that connection that was between them. 